My husband. My husband can't talk. That reminds me. Ijoma, where is your brother Obi Naya? He went out. Who? Oh. Man can't get a boom. He has gone out again. That reminds me. I saw my man make and the maker yesterday when I was coming back from the market. My husband. Hey, who get the kind of motto this boy you put? He's not a big boy. That is why I say, let's ask our children what they would like to become in the future. So they can buy me that kind of car. You, Joma, what would you like to become in the future? Mom, I would like to be a doctor so I can help read the sequence. Hmm. That is my daughter. <laughs> and James, what about you? I would like to become a reverend father when I grow up. Hey, 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 Let's sit at this granite. It's very sweet. It's granite. But don't forget to read your book, so don't forget to read. My husband, you have heard what the children said about their future. What do you think? Yes, I've heard them. What baffles me most is that of James. What does he really know about becoming a reverend father? We will do what we can do. And leave the rest for God. Oh, put everything in God's hand. Yes, sir. Thank you. I think it's better. Why did you not come and play with me? What happened? No, ma, please forgive me. I'm sorry. What are you thinking? My husband, I am worried about our son, James. There is no night for James to sleep and wake up without having this same dream about this friend of his. My dear, James is a small boy. And I strongly believe he's just a nightmare. Nothing will happen to him. He will be fine. I pray so. Because it baffles me. My dear, you worry a lot. Go and get me my food, I'm hungry. Okay, oh, my husband, if you say so. Ijoma, do you see my friend? Which friend? Uno mana. I don't know if you know the one that used to come up to play with us. It was the one that came here and used to be here. The new mom died on her side of the place. I don't have any friend for you. Ijoma, do you see my friend? Which friend? 
By this time tomorrow, you must have been in the seminary. And the reason your mother and I called you out here is to admonish you on how to live your life there in the seminary. Please, when you get there, when you get there, focus on what you are there for. We want to tell you to know the family you came from. Live your life as a child that is well brought up in no time will be addressed as Reverend Father James Madhu Adigo. Good job, there. Please, when you go there, focus on what you are there for. That's, that's just what I want to tell you. I and your mother will do everything within our best to make sure you don't lack anything. Mm -hmm while you are in that school. <laughs> your mother and I will be happy. Your brother, your sister will probably be happy. Please, do this for us so that we can always be happy with you. Now, go in and begin to pick your things together for your onward movement tomorrow. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that our son James has finally been admitted into the seminary. Yes, sir. That is my joy now, and I pray that God Almighty will make him succeed. Amen. <clears throat> that is all we owe him now. Prayers. And you succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 When am I going to see him? Daddy. Who's that? Very soon, you will see him. Hmm? Daddy, that's what you keep telling us that very soon, very soon. I know. For this one, eh? it's, not, it's not going to be long again. No? Oh, great. Is that what is making you look this gloomy? You will see him very soon. I love him so much. I love him so much that I, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. Norma, mm -hmm. how do you mean you met a man in your life and you love him? Don't tell me that upon all the men you've been seeing in this world, you did not choose any of them to love. Rather, you choose the one you've been seeing in your dream. You get you for great things. You're sounding like this because you don't know, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But don't worry. Soon you will see him. <laughs> Mama, 
Believe me, this is a spiritual How dare you call? Listen, I will not have you call my man a spirit husband. What's the meaning of that now? Is it because you've not seen him? See, I may not know where he is, uh, at, at least for now, but I know and I'm very sure he's alive. He's somewhere doing something I, I, I don't know about. Don't worry, I'll bring him to you from here. It's a promise. I'm so, don't call me sweet husband again. Hey, ah, sweet husband again. Okay, my husband. Hey. He's cute. He's cute. He's done now. Come here, daddy. How is James? I hope he's doing well in his dream career. Ah, your brother is doing very well. Okay, in two good. years' time, he's going to be a fully ordained priest. Okay, man. Sure. A reverend father. Wow, I miss him, mom. I miss my brother so much. It's been long I haven't seen him. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I know how you feel. Nobody else says. Uh, on Sunday, we'll go and see him after mass. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Especially before we still play, man. So we're going there on Sunday, so bring all your, confess all your sins on time. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> my brother doesn't sing. No, no, we didn't sing. <laughs> It has been long your son James started this missionary school. Mm -hmm. eh? So when will he become the Reverend Father? Why are you so much in a hurry? <laughs> in two years' time, my son will become a Reverend Father. <laughs> and you will be addressing me as Ine Father. Hey! You no longer address me as your friend, but Ine Father. Ine Father, you said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very much happy for you. Thank you. At last, I have a close Reverend Father too. I'm very happy. At least you'll be praying for you. That's why I'm very close to you. For your sins, so. <laughs> it's okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi. Madam Mommy, my daughter, what are you doing here all alone? What is it? Hey. I can see him in my dreams. 
I see him in my dreams. I can feel his presence. Hey! Even though I haven't seen him physically, I believe he's somewhere. <laughs> Mama, wait. Who exactly is this person you're talking about? And what do you mean you can feel his presence and you cannot see him? <laughs> hey! My daughter, I hope this is not a spiritual husband. Because you cannot tell me you are seeing someone in the dream. At the same time, feeling his presence. Mama, you will not understand what I'm saying. But I will believe that very soon, someday, I will see him physically. Hey! Mama, please, I need to go outside, okay? I'm coming. Hey! Who is this maiden I keep seeing in my dreams? Where could she be? And how does she look like physically? Or is it a spirit of distraction? God, please help me. Because I've been praying about these particular dreams for long now. And no signs of answers. So let your will be done. Mama, he said he's coming to see you next week Sunday. And who is coming to see who? James. The man I usually see in my dreams. James and his people. They said they are coming to see you concerning our marriage. Hey, and where did you people discuss that? And who is James? In my dream. Brother. I thought of it before now, but as a child I have not seen, and now my brother is going through emotional pain. Which of your brother are you even talking about? James, of course. The young man is involved with a strange woman he only sees in his dreams, and now he can't look for her because he's a reverend father. My dear, he chose his career right from childhood. So let him learn how to focus and forget women. Ah. Brother, so you mean you don't have feelings for him? Brother, for crying out loud, he's a human. He's a human. He has flesh and blood in him. What do you want me to do? So I should stop him from serving God? Please let him serve God, I beg. Huh? Why would I stop him from serving God now? He chooses oh, it so. Brother, brother, please, please. Let him serve God, I beg. Oh, please. My husband, I'm so worried. Worried about what? About our son, I, I, I'm having this feeling about him. I don't even understand what the feeling is all about. You got me upset. Is that all? Yes. Obi dear, nothing is wrong with our son. He is just very fine. Stop worrying yourself about him. Or do you want us to pay him a visit next Sunday? Uh, yes. That would be nice to keep my mind at rest. Good. You will keep your mind at rest. Let's do that next Sunday. Oh, thank you so much. That's why I love you so much. Thank you. I, I know I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Is this, is, is, is this why you're this moody? <sighs> don't, don't. Please. I'm smiling now. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Ah. Yes. No. 
Why are you here all alone three in the first? Why are you talking to me? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hello? Yes. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Have you heard it? You're saying over nothing. Now you've heard it from him that he is fine. I told you he's fine. Ah, mom? Mom? You were worried about me? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. God is taking good care of me here. See? And lest I forget, in the next six months, I'll be ordained a priest. Are you serious? Yes. So in the next six months, I will be addressed as a nephew father. It's yes, only you. Hi! Only you. I will equally be addressed as father of Reverend Father. That is not father now. And that day, yes, not father. And that day, I will come out in my bed. Yeah. Well, anybody that sees me will know that actually I am not father. Don't talk to my wife. I should be protecting this thing. This thing. Why? Because I'll dress well. Uh, I just will be with God. Stand with me. Yes. Uh, You're okay, okay? You didn't come this day away this morning. Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. My girl will leave me. Okay. And that reminds me. Uh, Madam, as I told you, please, from now henceforth. I want you to minimize how you stress yourself. Do you get me? Okay, doctor. And I'm sorry. You have to help her in that regard. Eh? I don't know what to say. Please. I will do my best, my sister. All right. Please. Thank you. Yeah, please do. Eh? Thank you, doctor. Lots of help. My joy and happiness is that all my children amounted to something reasonable in life right in my lifetime and before long a very lucky man will be coming for Ijoma's family marriage oh my way is working my job will be full of death yeah. mm. i'm happy that i i, I will be called nefada and more one nefada <laughs> james are they giving you a parish to handle or you'll be assisting the senior reverend father before giving a parish a very good question <laughs> well for now I'm assisting the senior reverend father. But soon, I'll be posted to a parish. There will be the parish priest. Very oh. good. <laughs> and God will do it. Save me to me now so that you can pray for me, for God to forgive me all my sins. It's no, better you do that too. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. No, ma. Your food is still untouched. No, ma, what is it? My friend, just take a drink of this. Look at me. All my friends, my mates are getting married one after the other. And so? Yet my husband only comes to me in my dreams. James, James, where are you? Why can't you come physically so that I can see you, so that I can feel you? <gasps> Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just tell me. Just tell me where you are. Let me find you or find me. I just want to be with you. <laughs> My daughter. Ada mommy. Omani Cham. Stop crying. Don't worry. If God has destined you and that young man to be together. I believe one day, just one day, wherever he is, he will find you. No, ma. Even know his name. <laughs> well, all I have to say is that if truly God has made the both of you to be together, just believe me, that dream will come out positive. But if not, if not, I really do not know what would happen. Get you, my friend. Mama, that's why I'm asking for your efforts. All I want from you people is your efforts. Efforts to know who he is. Efforts to find him. Because I'm losing it. Mama, I'm losing patience. What are you doing to do? I got mommy. Mama! Good evening, Father. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. 
to stay. Um, so I was actually coming down, to, coming to your office this evening to see you um, because I was just, I'm just, I want to sit for your exam, so I want you to pray for me and also help me. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, very good. I'll pray for you. Can you also help yourself by reading your book? And by the grace of God, you sit for the exam and it will go successfully. Thank you, sir. Now let's do it. such an anointing. Anointing? Yes. Look at the wonderful thing you performed the other day. I have never ever experienced that in the entire priesthood of mine. I have no powers of my own. Ah. <laughs> it's all the Lord's doing. Well, glory to God. Amen. His mercies shall always be with you. Amen. You will grow to perform more wonders and it shall always be a thing of glory Amen. to God. Amen. <sighs> let us let us continue. Have you heard about that Reverend Father called Father James? James? Yes. Reverend Father? Mm. No, I haven't. I was in a bus today going to my working place. I heard that Damo is a very powerful man of God. I thought maybe it would be a help to us because of our hair challenges. Sitting down, okay. Just go straight to the point and let us go. Moses, why don't you want to give God a little chance in your life? Wait. How do you even know my name? Okay, wait. I hope you're not the one that um, told him my name. I didn't tell him the name. I'm surprised that you are. <clears throat> Moses, it might interest you to know. That the spirit is better witness, and nothing is hidden in the sight of God. So, why don't you give God a little chance in your life? This one that you managed to know our names, it has convinced me that you are a true man of God. Please, pray for us. <laughs> I'm 
He chose his dream career and God is helping him in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well. Uh, My dear friend, I'm very happy for you that your son, Reverend Father James, is now performing science and also doing wonders today. The one that shocks people most is that he healed a madman and even <laughs> raised a dead child. <laughs> My dear, God is using your son. I'm very happy for you. I thank God for this. <sighs> Honestly, I thank God so much for James. He's healing the sick, raising the dead, performing a lot of signs and wonders. It's not his own making. I know that he's the Almighty, and I'm so happy yes. that he's my son. <laughs> it is not of him that run it, mm -hmm. neither of him that will it, yeah. but of God that show it mercy. Yes. Yes. It's only him that is able to do it. Listen, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Since you've refused to come and see my parents, I have decided to pack all my things and move in with you. That's it. It's not what you think now. Hmm? I will surely come and see your parents. Okay? My love. <laughs> okay, boy, boy. <laughs> Bam of beauty. Listen, no, no, listen, listen. I am tired of waiting. I cannot wait anymore. I want us to be together. I want you. I understand. You know what? Cindy, listen, I am moving in with you tomorrow being Sunday and that's it. Tomorrow Sunday. My love. Hmm? Okay, boy, you go. Mm -hmm. So, you know they are very beautiful. Leave all these things. What does she mean she's coming to stay with me here from tomorrow, being Sunday? Thank God she does not know where I am, or even know me physically. So she exists on planet Earth. So she's truly a human with flesh and blood. That is the woman of my dreams. 
but I'm a reverend father. And at the same time, I love her. But I can't marry her or have anything to do with her as a reverend father. Father, let your will be done. to appreciate that is the reason why we came to appreciate you for for everything that you have done <laughs> it's all God it can only be God he's the master planner of everything he knows the end from the beginning so all the praises should be given unto him let's pray for more blessings And his blessings are permanent. Yes, my sister. So, so I, I really want to appreciate you for helping me regain my sanity. I couldn't believe for eight years I've been running mad. Immediately I finished from the um, university, I started observing that little thing. But thank God through you, I'm regained. So I want to appreciate you. And I would like to ask you for your account number so I can just one little thing to you. Well? Only God deserves the praises and honor, and not me. So I will advise if you have anything to praise God with, you channel it to the orphanage, which I believe they need it more than I do. So that's where your appreciation or whatever should be channeled to. Um, fine. But remember the girl I. I think I've been having feelings for her. Yes. And the mother brought her here for deliverance the other day that she has a spiritual husband. Immediately she saw me. She shouted and ran at me. Greetings, Father, from my brother Jesus Christ. And the peace of the Lord be with you. I don't really know, I can't just tell. Or maybe. So, what are you thinking? What do you intend to do now? I just don't know what to do. I'm a priest. Amen. Amen. My daughter, I don't know what is happening to you. Do I explain to you all that the man I usually see in my dreams, the only man I have ever loved is the same person we met in church today. <laughs> the Reverend Father. Hey! Reverend Father.
Good afternoon, my love. Then why do you wish to address me as your love? So you want to say you don't know me? Of course I know you, but I'm a priest. <laughs> so you are human. Like, you are human with flesh and blood running through your veins here on this planet Earth. I have been waiting to see you. I have been waiting and patiently praying for the day that I will see you physically because I often see you in my dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Likewise, may I also see you in my dreams, but I'm a priest of God. And as such, I can't have or think of anything with you. It's okay. I just want you to know that I love you and I will always love you. You may go to the chapel now and wait for me. I'll meet you there. Yes, Father. Father, you remember I told you we were going to see our girlfriend the first day we met? Yes. So, um... I remember very well. Uh, yeah. So, my intention is to get married to her. Wow, that's a very good one. You know, the Bible said that he that findeth the wife findeth the good thing, and he obtained favor from God. So, you have my blessings. Go ahead and marry. If you are pleased with her, Go ahead and marry her. I wish I could. Um, Father, um, what do you mean by you wish you could? Never mind, never mind. May the peace of the Lord be with you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, there's something that's been bothering me since, and that's the reason why I came looking for you. Ah, my God, you can't be that mad. You and this your woman you should again. Don't confuse. Far from that, okay. The other day I went to visit uh, Father. Uh -huh. Like he told me the other day, now. Yeah, you know, based on our conversation, he ended up saying how he wished he could. You know, that statement. Got me worried. Anyways, I'm not too surprised because uh, he's still a woman like us. He has flesh and blood running in his veins. So, like my friend Seb, you Seb, you don't imagine that kind of thing. See that kind of handsome guy like that. Just like you no know, marriage, no nothing, no nothing. You know, he, he looks so handsome. So, like you know, my friend, if now you be that kind of thing, you see that kind of handsome man like that. Eh? <laughs> now, why you don't say ban yourself the dreader? Buy the dress. I mean, saying that guy don't be, don't be very far. That guy could not marry like five now. No, uh, <laughs> so you have a point there. You have a point. You know, all this raven father. It is not easy for them. Oh, at seriously. all. At all. Me, me. Eh, I don't think I will let my son, especially my first blood, to be a raven father to go into priesthood. Never. Never <laughs> let that happen. My friend, I will forget that thing. You know, say me and say father like to. Are you ready with the pastor? How are you? I'm not fine. Why will I be pouring water in a basket? What do you mean by that? Why will I love a man I can't have? A man who doesn't know how I feel. Don't say that, Norma. I feel the same way you feel. I'm a priest here. And as such, I can't do anything. I don't know where to start from and where to end it. Well, we came to the church so you can deliver me. Deliver you from what? From the too much love I have for you. I had to run away because, because I was scared. I never knew you existed in as much as I see you in my dreams. I love you. I love you and it's gradually killing me. No, you can't die. 
Instead of you dying, I will resign from the priesthood and come and marry you. But you have to start going now before people start thinking something else. <sighs> Listen, I don't care what anyone else thinks. What matters to me is my love. I love you and that's all that matters. Start going. Don't you a man? But the end thereof is destruction. There's a way that seemed right on a man, but the end is destruction. There's a way that seemed right on a man, but the end is destruction. There's a way that seemed right on a man, but the end. There's a way that's made right on the man, on the end. Father, Father, what is it that troubles you? I've noticed your moody attitude for some time now. Father, please talk to me. What's happening? Nothing is wrong with me. Absolutely nothing. So that I'm not taking a sense to the issue. Okay, if you say so. Guys, what did they happen for Sangana? Nothing, all this small, small phone, why they pick, they collect small phone. Take my phone, don't take my phone now. Don't take my phone, no, sir. Why will you call my girlfriend? Don't put it, sugar. You're not stupid, you We don't have to go to my phone for Sangana. I'll go. I'll go. I'll Calm down. Stone. What did they give you, John? What did they give you, John? Your hair, they don't they use them. They don't they steal your pot from the village. You didn't move. See, see my tone now. Now they like more than a vest. See my father line, I'm going to sell her. So as I use the money, go blow. If I blow this uh, guy, you turn that fire, you dear. I said, better don't ever. They don't jump on finish now. For your boss, they don't jump on. They don't jump on. Okay, guys, see what you got. Yeah, we will use some enter sanga. Any, 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 I will be chipping something now. I believe you. Come on, I God. believe you. My this too much. Come on, show me, guy. What is happening to me? Does it mean I should resign from my dream career? Then what account will I give my God? What will I tell my parents and siblings? What will I tell my parishioners? And what will other people say about me? No. I will have to apply for a transfer. So I will stop seeing her physically. But if I stop seeing her physically, will I also stop seeing her in my dreams? Of course, the answer is no. But I just need to apply for transfer and be transferred. So I'll stop seeing her physically. Yes, I will apply for transfer and go from here. It's 
so you decided to apply for transfer because because you don't want to be with me because you don't want to marry me don't want to get married to me because you don't want me as as your wife it's okay it's fine just just have it in mind that i love you in whatever you do and wherever you go to that i love you so much i love you with everything in me i will continually love you no man Nune, it's not what you think How did she know that I applied for a transfer? Far in distance. Far in distance. Far in distance. But close but close in heart and in spirits. Spirit. We are meant for we each are meant other. For that, each is other. Our that is our destiny. This is exactly her voice. Destiny. Or the devil is trying to steal my destiny. Trying to quench fire with his bare hands. Yes. With his bare hands. That is really very strange. Ah. Uh, but if you ask me, I will say that is a mere dream. If you ask me, I will say it is a figment of your own imagination. Mm -hmm. Nothing of such can ever happen. Uh -huh. Where has it ever happened? Her husband, uh -huh. why do you always talk like this? Uh -huh. I, I, there's an information in that. I mean, there's something that maybe the Lord wants to reveal to us in that dream. And I, I, I pray nothing bad happens to James. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing bad will happen. In fact, there's no anything bad anywhere. Let's stand up from here now because it is sitting alone that makes you think think all these things in your heart. Okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up. It's about that dream. Forget that dream. It will nothing like that. Okay. Get them! Get them out! Reverend Father James, I came for peace! Only the car key I need, nothing else! I can't give you this car key. For it is written that horses and chariots are prepared for the days of war, but safety is of the Lord. I bell for preaching! I'm not here to do that fan and I want a monster. Only the car key or I blow your car out! He who can destroy the spirit and the body. You are still preaching. Get rid of the soap. You see there, brother. The Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. And all things are passed away. Get up. Are you now ready to give your life yes, to Christ? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Ma, repeat after me. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. To you today. Receive me unto yourself. I receive me unto Have mercy on me. I admit the fact that I'm a sinner. Have mercy on me. And you are saved. Father James, how are you? I'm fine, how are Father. you doing? I hope all is well. All is well, Father, all is well. I was in your office a few minutes ago. That's right. But I couldn't meet you there. Okay. And I've been wondering if you received my, a copy of my transfer letter. Yes, yes, I did. I did. But, but why do you want the transfer? Are we not treating you well? Of course, everybody here treats me very, very well. But I'm done with my mission here. I've completed my mission here. I need to go to a new place. Father James. Ah. Father James. Father James. Father. Okay, I have heard. I'm going to append my signature on it later. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Mm-hmm. Mary, did you see what happened in the church today? My dear, I should be the one asking you that because mm -hmm. you sleep a lot in the church. Me? Mm -mm. Sleep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to see the way he said, now I join my faith with yours. <laughs> my dear, it's not that I know that faith can be joined together. Yes, yeah, so that's the kind of reverend father we need. I'm school. telling you, not that kind of reverend father report to us at that time. Yeah, they'll just be using anyhow. I will see something here. Yeah? We'll see it. We'll see you in the evening. My daughter. Ah, Mama. No, my sister is seriously sick. I want you to go and stay with her. Mm -hmm. And I tell to her. Here, Mama. It's not that your sister, Auntie, that said I, I'm, I'm very lazy. That I don't know how to do anything. Please, my daughter. No, I can't. Please. Mama, her daughter should stay with her. I'm not going anywhere. No, Ma. She's my only surviving sister. Please, you go and help her. Oh? Mama, ma, 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 I don't want somebody that will be stressed in my life. Like she will not. She will not. She... you to come around and stay with her whenever you're less busy. Just keep her company, please. No, ma. I've had you. I will do as you've said, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, ma. <laughs> Beautiful girl. <laughs> hey, Fle. You know that you're the only daughter of my sister. Eh? And your late father, wherever he is, will be pleased, will be proud about you because you're a good girl. <laughs> but to crown it all, you've not brought any man for us, for marriage. You. You're ah, right, my dear, ah, you are right. <laughs> ah, auntie. I have seen the one whom my heart wants. Oh, that's good. 
I have seen the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. The one I truly love. But... Mm. You know that is not possible now. You cannot get married to the mm -hmm. Reverend Father. You know that. It's not possible. Uh, Auntie, mm -hmm. it is possible. Because he's the one for me. He's the chosen one for me. God, God gave him, gave me to him and gave him to me. My, listen, I see him in my dreams. He's real. It's, it's clear. He's the one for me. Oh, like, like it's not, I said it. What's that? I believe that is that spiritual husband that is disturbing you not to get married. Uh, uh, eh? Auntie. That is the problem. There is no spirit husband because. You go for deliverance, no ma. No deliverance, no spirit husband. I have seen him. I'm not talking out of illusions or anything. I have seen this person. He, he's real. He's just a reverend father. Ew. But, Auntie Norma. Is it possible for a Roman Catholic priest to get married? Or can one get married to a man he saw in, in her dream? Your husband, I had another horrible dream last night. Horrible dream? What about? In this dream, our son was picking trash. Like a madman picking things in the dustbin. Fear what? I reject it. Amen. I reject it. Fiawa. Fiawa. It's not his portion. Uh, though I prayed when I woke up. Good. And we have to pray more. Hmm. We don't need to pray for you. This is, this is, this is not a good one. And these frequent talks on me having a spiritual husband and needing a deliverance. It's, it's actually beginning to scare me. What if it's true? I mean, what if she's right? But, but, but he said he always sees me in his dreams too. So why is he finding it difficult accepting me? What is really happening? Sister Mary. Yes, I want to encourage the both of you in the services of God. Improve. And also help in um, keeping the environment clean. Yes, yes Father. Good day, Father. I'm surprised because I don't seem to recognize this lady in this village. The strange look on the Reverend Father is what I don't understand. But why did she run away? I don't know. I think there's something fishy behind this. There's something I very soon will get to know about. I called this meeting to let everyone know my intention to quit the priesthood. I have seen the flesh of my flesh <laughs> and the bone of my bone. <laughs> Tell me you're joking. He's not only joking. James, you are not only joking, you are kidding. <laughs> try it. <laughs> no, try it and have me disown you. <laughs> it's not only the, the, the bone of your bone or flesh. You have seen the yes. intestines of your intestine. Why am I? Just leave him. If it's the will of God for him, so be it. Shut, Shut up. up. Keep quiet. What do you know that is the will of God? Ijama, what will of God do you know? Do you know what it caused me to be to, to, to bring this boy up to this level? Do you know how much I spent on him? Do you know how many years he spent in the in the in the seminary? Do you know how, how, how much joy and comfort I denied myself, my wife and you and, and you, you, you and, 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 and Ijama, if you don't know what to say, keep quiet. Yes, yes, God. Why are you sleeping on this one? No, why are you still putting on this one? You should have, you should have removed it before telling us you have you, you you want to quit the priesthood. Hi. Hey. 
Alpha. What? What are you telling me? No, James, don't even try it. James, if you try it, I will useless you. You have resigned. You resigned what? James, if you think of that thing, if you try that thing, don't even come to my house. I don't want to see you in my house. And don't even think you are coming to any of our family house. What's the meaning of that? If you try that shit, I will useless you. James, I will useless you. I don't want to see you. In fact, let me just call that the same. Don't even call my line. Father James, I know by now you will be wondering over my silence regarding the letter of resignation you submitted. Hmm. But what I don't seem to understand here is that why have you decided to leave the priesthood? Why? After all these years you have spent, all the trainings that you have gotten, you remember you took an oath why do you want to leave the priesthood? Why? Father, I think that is the will of God for me. Will of God. Amaka. Auntie. Do you know tomorrow morning I'll be leaving back to our village? So soon. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Haven't I stayed enough? Uh, well, that isn't really the problem, though. The, the major thing is first, Mama is well now. Secondly, I cannot continue to stay in this village knowing fully well that the man I love, the man I see in my dreams, is in the same village, yet I can't have him. I, I can't keep staying, so it's best I go back to, to my village. Besides, your mother is well. My mother needs me too. Okay? Don't worry, whenever you're free, whenever you're done on holidays, you can come over to our village. And I will miss you. Hey, why won't you miss me? I wish my mom would allow me to go with you. So don't you leave your mother away. Don't even go there. Listen. Sister Emanuela. Yes, Sister Emanuela. How could Reverend Father James resign from priesthood just because of a woman? Sister Rosemary, it's actually unbelievable. Well, it baffles me. But all the same, it is good he left the priesthood than hiding in form of a priest and committing sins and adultery in this parish. But didn't he know he won't succeed priesthood before he enrolled? It's left for him, my dear. It's left for him, sister. But let's leave it for him and his God. The only thing we have to do is to pray. Hmm. Let's go and pray. Yes. This thing James did is bad. Why? That boy has really dragged our name in the mall. Hi. I'll just see her and tell her that I've resigned from the priesthood. How I wish he isn't a reverend father. Things would have been different. Father James! Oh, what, what are you doing in this village? 
I came to tell you I've resigned from the priesthood. You what? Yes. Oh my god, I feel so Oh my god. I, I missed you. I, oh my god. You come out of my house. You can't stay from my house. Come outside, my friend. Come outside. What's your problem? No, no, it's not my problem. I, 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 I love her. That was the reason why I did what I did. I love this girl and I don't want to miss her, please. So, it's now you know what is love, Abby. It's now you know what is love. When everybody was choosing their own career, you said you want to go to seminary school. It's now you are now coming to tell me about love. After you have made everybody to be proud of you. Brother, please. I, you know I have blood running in my veins. I'm a human. So, it's now you know you have blood. I love this girl. So, I don't have blood. Or mommy and daddy does not have blood. When you choose this thing, you are the one that chooses it by yourself. Get out of my house. I'm for you. James, you are trying you. James, you are trying me, you. See this idiot. I spend everything I have just to help you in the, that seminary school. And you come back here and be telling me uh, blood. So it's now you have, you know you have blood. When I was telling that I want to be a lawyer, you don't know that there is blood in your body. So tell me, since you're no longer a priest, what's your plan for you? My plan is to settle with you. Then probably we'll get married. Mm. <laughs> You know what? I can't wait to be married to you. They'll be like, ah, that's what I've prayed for. <laughs> uh, the business, talking about the business, what you plan on going into? I'm thinking of frozen food business. Mmm, that's a good one. Wow, that's that's good. You know what? We're doing it together. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have the idea. <laughs> you know what? I'm styling it. <laughs> you know what? We're doing it together. You know what? If I tell you that my mind is at rest over what your brother did, I'm lying. I you. I know that. Imagine. Even me. Now, since I've been seeing you, I know you are not okay. Imagine the way this boy rubbished my image in this village. After, after, after everybody has come to the understanding that I am now a Reverend Father's father. Just imagine that. A Reverend Father's father. He now came up with the decision of pulling out of the priesthood. All these days you have not been okay. Even the decision, nobody is okay with it. But the worst part of it is that he took that decision by himself. By himself? Nobody so, compelled him. The last time he came to my house, I chased him out. I chased him out. I'm not party to that. He could abandon the, 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 the priesthood. That is the <laughs> true part of it is that he chose it by himself. By himself. Nobody so, forced him, nobody compelled him. So he must go back home as far as I'm concerned. I even chased him out the last time he came to my house. Oh. I'm not, I will not tolerate such shit. If I'm driving now, as the people will be seeing me as if I'm one kind of important person. So my own brother now will now come back to a village that he see love. Law waiting. Love they exist. Yeah, I'm not party to that too. I'm not. So, my daughter, you are so happy. Mm. Mama. <laughs> my mother. Well, soon I will be getting married. Like very soon. This soon. This this time. Hey. <laughs> So who? Uh, to the man of my dreams. Mm -hmm. James, of course. Mama, he's no longer a priest. Yeah. Yes. And he hey. has promised to marry me. As a matter of fact, we are planning, we are working towards getting married. <laughs> Hell, my daughter. <laughs>
Well, there's no problem. She'll be okay. I can assure you that. You just say I pulled like same shit. But whatever it is, make sure she's fine. of you. No, but just because of you. Now tell me, why won't he leave you for another woman?
This one is normal. This is in Kechi. This is Ijoma. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like my mother. But it's too tiny and my mom is big. <laughs> daddy, daddy Ponga. <laughs> Jeans. Very nice set. His name is James. I say Reverend Father James. And he has already paid your bills and left. But um, I believe he is from a nearby village. But uh, there's this rumor that I'm hearing. It is insane. Because for days now, I have not seen him. You can go ahead with it. Is that that, uh, that so-called, is it that so-called Reverend Father James? Yes, sir, it's the one, sir. Uh, he has been taken to the church for prayers. So how is the church? Who says the church? The church. Is, um, if you reach that junction, yes, sir. go to the right. When you go to the right, after two, three buildings, you will see a church hall there. Oh, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory 
Mrs. Johnson. Yes, Father. Mr. Johnson. Yes, Father. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are healed in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Rise up, son. Rise up, son. Rise up, son. Oh, glory to God. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know you don't expect to see me here anymore, or even as a normal human. But I thank God I'm restored now. I'm here because I want you to clear your doubts. I want you to know what really happened and how it all happened. Mama, she's the girl. That's the girl I told you about. Looking for you everywhere. Since I left, I left the hospital. I've been searching for you. I've gone to the church. I've gone to the shops. I've asked people around about you. Thank God you're back to your health again. I heard all you went through. All because you rendered yourself to a person who doesn't even know from anyone. I don't. I don't understand. Someone should explain what's going on here. What's happening? What is this? This is the girl I helped when she was unconscious. The same girl you and your friend accused me of having an affair with. This young man here helped me while I was lying unconscious at the main park. So, whosoever is accused. Things I'm sorry. Things I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I overreacted. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I left Bristol because of you. I know, I know. So we can get married. But you couldn't give me that little trust which I demanded from you. You didn't even give me any time to explain what happened. You went ahead and believed your friend. Even your mother here poured water on me. No. It can't be. Since you couldn't give me the trust, then why should I continue? Why? It's a mistake. As if it was your It's a mistake. Just because you the guy is happy. Please, 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 no. please, please. See what is caused. Please, 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 that I left priesthood because of love. Something I went through for years. Performed miracles. Healed the sick. And all of a sudden I just left it because of love. And the same love couldn't be built on trust. Now, I lost in Norma, the love of my dream. I lost my dream career. I'm no longer a priest. The Norma is not on my side. Where do I go from here? 
Where do I start from again? What a lost dreams.